This is Dodging Death with Stephen Williams Jr. and Ryan Patton. Hello, fellas. Hello, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. Now, I'm very excited to be back. It's been about... Four, five yeah. weeks. Yeah, it's been a long old time. It's yeah, been a lovely break. Yeah. We've we've tried to keep the fact we pre-recorded a lot a secret <laughs> from the listener, <laughs> but now we're back to our regular schedule. We can reveal <laughs> there won't be any uh, outdated news. No. <laughs> Not for the next two weeks, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> After that, well, <laughs> well, it also depends on when people listen to this because you know it's yeah. evergreen content. Oh, that's it? true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, lovely to be back. <laughs> Yeah, back from your selfish travel. Oh, uh, it's yeah. what? Selfish. The West Coast of America, was it, mm. this time? Well, it was a bit of the West Coast, and then we went, I went to Italy, oh. and then Rome, and oh, it was lovely. Oh, it was everywhere? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a weird kind of <laughs> gaggle of places I went to. <laughs> but I've just been in Rome, was the kind of last place. I was there for maybe like four days. And where the ship docks was kind of on the outskirts of Rome, it's like half an hour into the city. Yeah. So I thought I'm gonna a little taxi, you know, into yeah. into into Rome. Mm-hmm. So I um I get in, I'm you know, my earphones are in, but the drive is a bit more chatty than I'd like. <laughs> in, does, it, does he launch into an English chatter? He is, yeah, because look at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally nothing about you that is yeah. remotely Italian. <laughs> he just spent three weeks on the west coast of America and it's just the same colour as when he left as well, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, if anything, he's gone paler. <laughs> the least Italian man ever. <laughs> Although I did tell him how much I love a cannoli. You know? Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I blended right in. <laughs> the, an Italian palate. Oh, they're very true, that. Mm. Lovely crisp white wine. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> so yeah, he immediately launched in with some English chat. And he said to me, oh, you've picked a, um, a good day to come to Rome with it being Easter Sunday. Oh. And I went, oh, it's Easter Sunday. Turn this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> and I was absolutely thrilled with having the opportunity to use the phrase, turn this thing around. <laughs> <laughs> I felt almost like he was Sutherland in the back of the car. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of like I was defusing a bomb, but instead I escaped the Catholics. <laughs> you know? I think which you are one, by the way. Well, I mean, that's pushing it, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Raised, but I feel like I've escaped. <laughs> As Easter Sunday proved. <laughs> did, the, um, did the taxi driver respond with the... Um, did he immediately turn around? He stopped the conversation. He did turn the car around. So I feel, I feel like Stop chatting. Always, yeah, I feel like they're always prepared for that. I feel like the, the oh, taxi driver is waiting for someone to say, turn this thing around. <laughs> they're always anticipating that their day might end up being uh, very spiced up in that regard. <laughs> Oh, they could just be a part of some sort of <laughs> mad scheme at some point. Oh, if I was a taxi driver and someone said to me, follow that car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I tell uh, you. Uh, yes. <laughs> Strap yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> Though you're such a cautious driver, Ryan, I feel like whoever came in the car, you'd be like, "Listen, just strap yourself yeah. in." <laughs> <laughs> have you dro- have you drove any more in the last six I weeks have, since you last drove? I have. I've um, I've drove the gym. Yeah. Oh god, the god. same <laughs> journey. But I navigated this route almost perfectly. I only got beeped once. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the same route that you've? Mastered now. From yes, but yeah, only, the only previous time didn't he master it then, Paul? It's yeah, the only that time, does. that time there was a few beeps. Oh, this time, okay. One, one sole beep, oh. and In... I think the driver who beeped was impatient. I, I don't blame <laughs> myself for that one. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> Flipping from the bird was a bit much for. <laughs> well, anyway, it's been a while since I've seen you two. How have you? Have you both been? I've been good. I've been on holiday myself. Oh, oh honestly, Paul, you're away more than I am. It's absolutely <laughs> unbelievable. Where, where have you been? Las Vegas. Oh, God. <laughs> Again. <laughs> did, did you win? Um, on um, on the theatre last night. It's a lovely blank Vegas question, there is. <laughs> did you win? <laughs> oh, I yeah, often it's, win, it's only I? In, in, in relation to that place. Theatre <laughs> <It is. laughs> last night, I won $280. I was going to say, did you get lucky? But I feel like your, um, <laughs> your other half wouldn't appreciate yeah. the question. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky money wise. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so did you did you actually win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. two hundred eighty dollars on the second to last night. Oh, last night. so pay for my last couple of days. Well, when us three went to Vegas, I um I hit the big time. At a, at a, <laughs> you did. You, I, I remember it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were at a bar, sat at a bar, like a little uh, screen in front. 
Mm -hmm. Williams hits the big time. Yes. I immediately put it all into the kitty for us to use for the rest of the holiday. Socialist Williams. Thank you. All Paul? thirty-five dollars of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it got us a drink. <laughs> Nevertheless, socialist millions. <laughs> um, I assume, Paul, you were inspired by that, and when you won, you put it into the group kitty. No, no. <laughs> I was uh, I was on my last ten dollars at the time, so <laughs> it paid for my last three days. And Ryan, how have you been? I've I've I have been good. Yeah. Uh, I have also been away. Oh, to uh, to Bristol. Okay. Not quite as glamorous as uh, San Diego and... Or um, Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, at any time while you were in Bristol, did you say, turn this thing around? <laughs> I didn't, unfortunately. You didn't? Oh, yeah, what a yeah. shame. Did you get lucky? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. Oh, I, uh, that's a shame. I, I, I went on a run. Oh, no. In Bristol? Yeah, yeah. So this, uh, I'm making this a, a thing now where I do. Mm. So when, when I travel to a city... Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my take my running gear and go on a run around the city as a, as a way to see the sight to see. Uh, well, you, I can see you both grimacing here. Yeah, you've I've, lived in Liverpool for 25 years and never been on a run once. <laughs> <laughs> I have, which is indoors. Yeah, just exclusively <laughs> on the <a> treadmill. <laughs> but uh, I um, so I ran to the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Okay, which was a uh, very high up. Which I went to bridge. <laughs> I know, but I didn't realise this. It wasn't a tunnel. <laughs> so I thought, I thought, I'll do this, and I'll, I'll, see, I'll, see, I'll see a good view. Yeah. But I didn't realise how just how uphill it was going to be, the route. Okay. And, um, and I, I guess, coming from the treadmill... It's a big, big old difference a hill, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so on on this run, I yeah. much like when you drive, did you roll down at some point? <laughs> <laughs> Stopped at the lights and just rolled back. <laughs> Ended up back in the hotel. <laughs> got beat by another runner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get away from this. <laughs> no, but I uh, I almost died. Oh, oh, again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You so dodged it. Janet Street Port at the time. <laughs> 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 See, I feel like I always, I bring the near-death stories to, to, the, to the team here. Mm. So <laughs> I make this show about dodging death. Otherwise, it would be completely irrelevant. Uh, that's the first time we've been referred to as the team. <laughs> I <know. laughs> So I said that and I thought, oh, I wish I hadn't called you the team. I feel like that's what's going to get focused on. <laughs> Rather than my ability to bring it back to the name of the show. <laughs> Every time you mention your near death experiences Paul and I completely disregard them <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's never a show of sympathy or <laughs> sympathy or concern yeah. does not come into it they're absolutely stupid that's yeah, why they're ridiculous this one is not stupid oh, oh god do we have to ask you ask I'm not asking no I feel like it's going to be like the craft beer story I'm again to we're anyway. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if so. anyone wants to switch off for about two and a half minutes <laughs> feel free so go I make a cup of tea use the plus 15 icon <laughs> about five times I entered my run into, oh. uh, into Google Maps Okay. And it was um, <laughs> so it was quite good actually because so I was running. I, had, I was listening to my music, yeah. And then as uh, I was reaching a point where I had to do like a turn, mm. the Google um, like map voice came to me, came and said like, "Oh, turn <laughs> it left came a, to you." <laughs> turn left in a hundred yards, and I was like, "Okay." Oh. Um, I tell you my issue though. Mm-hmm. Um, I find it to interrupt a bit much. It, it is quite interrupting. Yeah. yeah. Because, so I, I was listening to um, "Pure Shores" by All Saints. Okay. Classic. <laughs> And as it hit the chorus, which, you Oh, know. you know what would be a good idea, actually? If we set up Spotify playlists for, like, a Dodging Death Spotify playlist mm-hmm. to... Uh, mm. I would be all, all over yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I think yeah. I'd be quite fun. for that. Let, let's work on this after the show. Yeah. Yeah. First song, <laughs> Pure Shores by Olsen. <laughs> but as it, as it was about I'm not hit, allowing any Kate Bush, Ryan. <laughs> no, Kate Bush will be in Continue. there. Continue. You nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> Pure Shores by All Saints. So, I'm, but as it kicked into the, the chorus, yeah. uh, the, the Google map voice came over me like, oh, turn left in a hundred oh, yards. No. It killed the momentum. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was ready to like uh, burst into a sprint <laughs> and, and, it, and it ruined him. But anyway. Do you find that when you're driving, Paul, if a song's got like a great beat, I don't want to endorse speeding on the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if there's like a really good song, oh God, I'm bombing it down that road. <laughs> oh, if, I, I, if I listen to Smooth, I, d- I feel like, drive like a 90 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still quicker than Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I, was gonna say, I, I absolutely never put my foot down. If be, pure shorts could come on even, and I still wouldn't put my foot down. <laughs> Ryan can't wait till the day he drives like a 90 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> I dream of that. <laughs> Milk floats are overtaking you, Ryan. <laughs> and I wave them on. <laughs> <laughs> so go on. So back to my, my near death experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my near death experience. Yeah. 
So I'm running up to it, up towards the Clifton Suspension Bridge, and it goes quite um, a country road style mm. um, situation. Another so song not- for the podcast there. For the <laughs> Spotify playlist, <laughs> Country Road. <laughs> um, so before before you carry on with the story, Ryan, as, as riveting as it is, <laughs> I, um, this is riveting. This is, people are on tenter hooks. <laughs> How did he nearly die? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I work on cruise ships, as you know, and it's predominantly American acts on these ships. Um, you're wonder- looking at me like, where's he tying this in? <laughs> As Ryan's death story ends up with you working on cruise ship. Well, I feel it's killed the momentum of my <laughs> tale, M- much like the Google Voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is exactly like when I was listening to the Your Shores. This. Um, no, no, I'm tying it. I just thought the conversation hasn't been about me for too long. I will bring <laughs> <Yeah>. it back. <laughs> Very unlike you. <laughs> so anyway, it's predominantly American acts. And if there's a bit of a hacky singer on ever, they sing Sweet Caroline because it's a crowd pleaser. Yeah. You yeah. know, everybody loves it. You can't go wrong. That's a, like a bit of a hack. So anyway, I was on a ship once with a British singer. Unusual. You know, mm-hmm. um, and they, it was the first ever ship. So they thought, un- unaware of Sweet Caroline, <laughs> what they're going to do is sing Country Roads. Oh, oh, yeah. Because it's a, you know, play down the 40th. God, it's a crowd pleaser, oh, yeah. isn't it? They <laughs> love it. Um, anyway, turns out Country Roads is not a hit in America. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they were like, you know the words. <laughs> oh, and no one did know the words. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> this is the end of the show. <laughs> Just you swaying in the background. <laughs> 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 and I've not seen them on a ship since. Oh. So I feel like that was um that was it. Brian, I enjoyed singing along. Uh, I also enjoyed that story more than what I'm about <laughs> to hear. Back to the near death experience. <laughs> so I'm running towards the Clifton Suspension Bridge. Yeah. It's getting a bit hilly, which I should have realised since it's a bridge. No. Or, <laughs> this, took, this took me by surprise. <laughs> and it was a bit tiring on the old legs. <laughs> But it reaches a very like all. Country you used roads. to have a thing. So I feel like I'm interjecting a lot <laughs> oh, here. Oh, to kill know, the momentum Ryan. of the near death experience. Yeah, but go on. <laughs> um, where when me and you were in the same PE class in school, W three W three Paul was in a bit of a higher one. Oh, don't feed his ego. Yeah. Um, God, I wish we I wish we could have cut that now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, we were in the same one. I remember if we ever used to do any kind of cross country, you used to kind of froth at the mouth. Oh yeah, yeah. <sighs> you are a frother. <laughs> I often see you walking to to work. With pace. Like, so Ryan's timing is like the worst thing in the world. You should say you two live very close to each yeah, other. Yeah, <laughs> so Paul's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Paul's hiding in a bush. <laughs> yeah, so so I, I walked to school with Ryan for like five years and I don't think he was on time once. Back to the death experience. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Ryan... Now has got the you've got the train times down to a T. I, I have fine so art. How many is. how many minutes does it take you to walk from your house to the train station? Seven minutes. And how long <laughs> do you normally give it? Six minutes. <laughs> so I often... well, but there's, a, there's a hill. There's a so so. I do, I do a slight jog, and that makes up the minute. And oh, God. There's lies on the side a... and rolls <laughs> down the this, hill. This is this is all. This is a finely tuned routine <laughs> in the morning. If anything throws me off, it <laughs> it's done. The train's missed. I often drive past Ryan frothing at the mouth, <laughs> half sprinting for the train. <laughs> I, I actually have no idea what that, that froth around the mouth was. So if anyone uh, listening actually knows what that, that yeah, yeah. could be, if, I hope it's not rabies. Gonna, yeah, it's going to be on your Google, like, why no, no, you've got no. cancer. <laughs> but I told you I got um, an injection for rabies. Oh, um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. This, yeah. I feel like you might want to work it. Yeah, yeah, I might, I might just get it just in case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so don't know if it works retroactively, but... Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a cure more, than, more so than... <laughs> yeah. Than, um... yeah. That, um... an immunisation. Um, is that, it is, is that yeah. a it's an immunization? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound right. No, no, I, yeah. I debated that. Yeah. Anyway, back to the near death experience, oh. which I, I almost died, okay. and this has gone on five tangents or something now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and a little bit where you just were very critical of we're, me. We're, we're just trying to save the story. <laughs> 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 we're hoping we die before you finish the story. <laughs> so I'm running towards the Clifton Suspension Bridge. <laughs> I tell you, the. Um, <laughs> Ryan has literally just thrown a strop for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> like a serious one, though. No. 
I just can't. I just, I just can't believe the amount of times I've been interrupted here. He's gonna try and joke that it was all for the show. Yes, the, we know him too well now. We know that was a real one. It was a slap of the chair and a clear hook. <laughs> I hope the mic picks up. I feel up like it's just been delayed so much. It's gonna have an empty end and now. <laughs> Sing country roads, bring it back together. <laughs> yeah, I know how that act feels now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that act went down a bit better than this. <laughs> <sighs> right, go okay, on. Okay, so you're up by the by some bridge. Yeah, and you went down country roads. Yeah, went down country roads. Yeah. There's, there's no sidewalk. Okay. So I so I'm I'm running about to run on a busy country road oh, uphill. God. It's, it, there's loads is this, of there's is this, cars. Is this during the day or is this? Uh... Well, this is the uh, the early hours of the morning. Well, not the early hours of the morning. About, about eight a.m. Okay, that's what early. early hours. I'd say so. Yeah, I thought that mm. gave the impression I was running like midnight or something like that. <laughs> 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 that's a bit. Well, I would have said that was late. <laughs> No, because it's, it's the following day, isn't it? I thought the night in mid was a... I'm creating tangents <laughs> in my own story. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm running up to the cliff and suspension bridge. Yes. The roads get a bit hilly. It's okay. tiring on the old legs. Yeah. So I'm... <laughs> the sidewalk you disappears. You have quite dodgy shins in school as well. Is that still a thing? I mean, not so much the shins. It's, uh, it's more the knee now because I uh, oh, actually... Oh, my God. God. Why did I say <laughs> that for? <laughs> we found a more boring story anyway. <laughs> I had a very serious knee injury a couple of years back, but anyway, but yeah. but I'm but I'm I'm recovering no, as yeah. proven by my run, which went uphill <laughs> towards the Clifton Suspension Bridge. I uh, go, I end up on some country roads. The sidewalk disappears. Okay, yes. so I so I see, I look over and I see a mud road. No, oh, so I think, Oh, it's my only option. Otherwise, I'm I'm running at oncoming traffic. Uh, you know, would have been another option, a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would just be a bit of defeat, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, and and the taxi driver asked what you were doing, but I was about to th- a third of the way through a run. <laughs> and why is your mouth frothing? <laughs> <laughs> so I see the mud road. Yeah. And I think it's my only option. Mm. So I cross the road to the mud, to the mud patch. <laughs> okay. The mud patch was a very steep incline. It's basically going up vertically. Mm. But I go for it anyway. Pure shores, it's the chorus. I'm going up there. Oh, I'm putting money on it. It wasn't going up vertically as well, by the way. <laughs> yeah, if we could a, see the it, it was very... <laughs> 0.5 it, degrees. It was, a he- <laughs> it was a hell of a steep incline. My already tired legs were, oh, were, were even more burning. Mm. The, knee, the, 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 in, the injured <laughs> knee. The injured knee was beginning the to blur. <laughs> <laughs> the injured knee was beginning to flare, <laughs> and then I hear the Google, the Google voice in my ears uh. to say that I had to bear right to go to the bridge. Yeah, I've just crossed over to the left hand no, side of the no. road. Oh. I've gone up a mud no. patch. He's yes. in the mud, Paul. And then I have to go down a very steep incline to and get back over the road. Do you mean, do you mean decline? A very steep <laughs> decline to get over the road. It's a bl- there's a blind turn. Oh god. So I had to navigate this. I hope you are hit by a car here because if you didn't, you did not nearly die. Fortunately, I kind of slid down the steep decline and uh, um, went across when the road. You, when you slid down it, mm-hmm. did you go like Paul's uncle with the gout go down the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> it was. No, I had to go like kind of like on on me bum down I, this hill. I believe Paul called it the Stephen Shuffle. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I had to do the Stephen Shuffle to save my life. Yeah, and fortunately, I'm still here. Is that it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how was the bridge? The bridge was great. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can post a picture of it on oh, Instagram. Oh. <laughs> Will we see you like covered in mud? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the froth around the mouth. <laughs> um, well, I'm pleased you're both here and we got to the end of the anecdote. My very, very thrilling near-death experience. So, the time that I dodged so, death, everyone. <laughs> It's about time we've linked this into the show. Yeah. Though, the Stephen Shuffle and the thread linking the show together. <laughs> Maybe dodging death it should be like stories about how we think we dodge death, but we never really dodge death. Um, but I did dodge death because I'm not oh, talking from anyway, beyond the grave. Um, I so I got back from Rome, and very excitingly, there was a large package awaiting me. Oh, oh yeah, who was it? Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> anyway, Paul, it's 2019. We're going to move on. Um, <laughs> Julian Clary, he's definitely going on the next show. <laughs> this is where we're going. <laughs> it's all Clary's material, this. 
um, so yeah, there was a large, um, a large box waiting for me. Um, very, I, I, I love it. You know, any kind of parcel I'm excited about, I gave it a bit of a shake, like Christmas Day. Mm-hmm. There was jangling inside. Ooh. Yes, very excitedly opened it. We have been sent a gift. Oh, Whoa. yes. The um, the good people are a company called Go Kombucha. Have um have sent a, a a package. Is it kombucha? I feel Do like we need to get the name right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was kombucha. Oh god! You know what? I'm trying to give these people like an ad on the, the show here, and I've got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the company's amazing with a, with a high quality product. <laughs> we assume. Yeah, this is the reason why we got into this. Yeah. <laughs> For the yeah. we we really hoped something like this would happen sooner. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it took thirteen. 13, but we eventually got there. Mm-hmm. Can we not mention like Lindor and hope that they send loads of chocolate? <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll tell you what's good Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, too fast, too fast a car. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I want a safe, fam- family friendly car. <laughs> I'll tell you what's good a Skoda. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, surprisingly good cause. So, <laughs> go kombucha. I've sent a, a whole. Or ju- possibly go kombucha. Yeah. But not go compare. <laughs> no, although the postman was fat Adam Mustache. <laughs> so um Was he incredibly we, annoying? Yeah, we wouldn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> um so they sent us a, a whole collection of of their product. Yeah. And I thought we could try it on the air. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am... So I brought two of the um samplings with me. We have Darjeeling Black. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh God! Sir. That, that's not a review, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and and, um, and China White. Ooh, Ooh. yeah. Now, have you got any um, preference? I'd probably go for Darjeeling Black. I feel like Paul is unaware what Darjeeling is. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, Darjeeling sells me. What's yeah. Darjeeling? It's, it's one of those flavors that I'm always enticed by. <laughs> Um, well, I, I'm going to allow you to open the bottle. Uh, what's, what's Darjeeling before we open? It's a, it's like a, it's a spice. You get it in tea. You get it in tea. Yeah. It's very classically in oh, tea. I don't like tea. Yeah, but Paul, we've been sent these free of charge from. <laughs> this is promotion material. <laughs> I did think you were alcoholic when we walked in, oh, so I yeah, am. So I was in here a bit early. Paul walked in and your eyes lit up when you saw these <laughs> bottles. This is what I'm in it for. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're in green bottles, so after, at first I thought it was Heineken. And, <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, I'd been devastated that it was Heineken. <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely devastated. <laughs> if Heineken want to send us any product, by the no, way. No, if Heineken want to send us it, I, I will give a bad review or quit the show. <laughs> I've seen Carlsberg of him. Um... You've admitted that there'd be his crap. Yeah. Have yeah. They? yeah. Remember, I put, the, I put a, a picture in our group. In our WhatsApp group. Saying that, and they had like sponsors and adverts on Twitter. Twitter, yeah, saying that um, Carlsberg tasted like trees or something. Oh, like that. like that's it weird. It was a bad review that they'd sponsored. That they'd sponsored. Their marketing slogan's probably the best beer, isn't it? Yeah, is and it? Now it's, yeah, and now it's probably not the best beer in the world. That's but bizarre. we're trying to make Angle it better. Take. Oh like god, that, yeah. it does um, taste like piss. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> See, the, cra- the craft beer <laughs> was, that, was that another sponsored post of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> the craft beer industry is changing things. Oh, anyway, um, yeah. I'll, I'll hold oh, your I'm going to go into a craft beer store. <laughs> 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 oh, is this, this to um, to get uh, the um... uh, yeah yeah? We're getting some foley of you opening up the bottle. <laughs> Ooh. It's over- oh no! <laughs> it's overblown. Oh. <laughs> now we've got to describe what just happened there. So, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Ryan opened up the bottle. And it absolutely exploded <laughs> everywhere. And then... In t- <laughs> <laughs> t- I wanted to snap the lid open so to make for the sound effects. <laughs> well, to try I was trying to get it, that the crud. He put the whole neck of the bottle in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best way of saving uh, a frothing drink, yeah, which we're all now sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that's actually a way of me claiming the whole Darjeeling black. <laughs> I love China white. Would be my <laughs> <laughs> oh god, 
I tell you, when they sent us this, they wanted to be a bit more professional, <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> the China white one is going to go down very professionally. Uh, do you think? Yeah. yeah. Can, I, can, I, can I open it? Yeah. Well, we'll we'll save that later on in the show. Okay. You know. Um, okay. Do 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 some pouring. I've brought some red plastic cups. I feel the red plastic cups are like in at the minute. Mm. It, oh, makes, it makes you think that yeah. I'm at like an, um, a teen party in an American film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of bars in town have them now as well. Oh, is it's, it like a, is it an in thing? It is, and the plastic as well, so it shouldn't be. Really. Shouldn't, yeah, no. yeah. Are you, was that a bit of a passive aggressive go me there, Paul? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the red as well, which is even weird. She was happy for dodging death there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like um, you might have to do a bit of a, a hold. You know, well, like, I feel like I, yeah, considering I'll what hold. just happened, I'll pour. Oh, but yeah. but you've got to, you're gonna have to cock the cup, cock the cup. <laughs> um, why? Because it's fizzy. Yeah, but it's not a beer. <laughs> I know, yeah, but it's hey, we're not gonna we're not forming a head. I, I know, <laughs> but, but the, it's not just, it's not a beer is the reason why you cock the cup. It's so it so it doesn't froth uh, everywhere. You're, the mic is going everywhere there, Ryan. As you, <laughs> you <laughs> Come yeah. on, you do what you want. Okay, then. Paul's now holding it. Uh, not much of a cock going on. <laughs> Well, there is with Ryan's mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've just realised we're supposed to be splitting this three ways and I've poured. Oh, this is an absolute car oh. crash. Do you understand what I meant before? That one is just pure froth now. See? I have froth. Oh, oh I'm going to pour you some more. Oh, it doesn't smell great, so I'll stick with froth. Okay. <laughs> um, let's, um... It does smell great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would say let's clink, but it? I feel like the plastic cups are not going to... Um, no. Come Maybe with a sound effect would, would um, it'll crash. You could add this in after. Oh, we're doing no post work to this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we really should. <laughs> okay. The bridge story. Are we tasting? Let, let's have a taste. Oh, I think it's quite nice. You know though. what? Actually, I, I'm actually uh, a fan of that. Yeah, yeah. And this is not because we've been sent over free. No, that no, is no. I nice. think that's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul is Lovely. not pulling the same way. Is there? <laughs> it, t- it actually tastes quite champagne-y, I think. Oh, I mean, I, mean, I feel like that's testament to the cheap shy champagne that you're <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Again, this is not cheap shy. <laughs> that was not an attack at the kombucha. <laughs> that was an attack at Paul's champagne. <laughs> it's very books fizzy. Champagne out of a box, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. Okay. I feel I like describe you... that as revitalizing. Oh. Which is funny because that's exactly the description it says on. The- <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I do. I genuinely, think that's, I genuinely think that's very nice. I also like it. Paul's not a fan, but we appreciate that. Go kombucha. Yeah, as sent yeah. to us. Or go kombucha. Yeah. Well, anyway, Ferraris do get in touch. <laughs> cause light. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Cause light. Oh, fuck the, off. Apparently, <laughs> com- kombucha's got a bit of um, a, a hint of alcohol in, like one oh, percent. Yeah, oh. yeah. I can't drink it then if I'm driving. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Oh. I'd describe it as authentic, live and kicking kombucha tea. Mm. Brewed in the original time on an ancient Chinese recipe. Unpasteurized, naturally. Anyway, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. I've got to interject here. <laughs> the kombucha was better fine. than that story. Fine, fine. <laughs> I feel like my, my stories have been nothing but slated in this episode so far. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> well, this this one, though, this one's actually, I think, is quite good. Okay. We will see. Strap in, everybody. Yeah, so brace yourselves again. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a bit shorter, I hope, than the cookie well, suspension. Well, it depends on me and Paul talk during it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that episode yeah, if, like you <laughs> yeah, if you don't really go on again, we can maybe keep it, keep it a bit tighter. <laughs> keep it to 20 minutes this time. <laughs> so I went to the Liverpool game last week. Okay. And Paul it. is immediately out of the story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paul, Paul's eyes have rolled back. <laughs> yeah. But um, we went, we went for a celebratory drink after the game. Okay. And in, in the in the pub afterwards, it was quite crowded. Yeah. And uh, I accidentally like elbowed into this guy, and um, and he had he had two pints in his hands. Oh God! There was the spillage. Oh. It, there was a bit of spillage, but then he kind of made a remark. Is there an acceptable level of spillage? In, in a it, yeah, in a in a match day pub, I would say there is. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it was ve- it was very crowded. So oh, it, quite it was like yeah, yeah, there's bound to be a bit a bit of elbowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, and he didn't lose that much of it. I think probably the amount of liquid I, I that was, leaves I was going to say, was he from the rival team there? Oh no! But then <laughs> I, I realised the rival team. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's always great when you engage in football <laughs> chat. It's, like, it's always quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I really tried to. Uh, <laughs> You're like our like girlfriend who tries to keep up <laughs> with our interests, but you really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I so I, I accidentally knock into this guy. He makes a bit of a comment. Yeah. 
And then my dad says something back to him. And then this guy then latches onto our co- latches onto our conversation. Oh no! Yeah, and he's talked to us for ages. And we're thinking he's got two pints in his hands here. And then he then he reveals that the both for him. Oh yeah, because no. there's a queue at the bar. He got two two. And we doubled up. He doubled up. Yeah. Uh, so we were like, oh god, we, we, we've got. Surely that's not a common thing, is it? Yeah, I would say doubling up is quite common. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was busy, so, okay. so I, I okay. could see the thought process. But, but was he in there on his own? He was he was in there on his own. Oh, dear. Yeah, so we so my dad um, like allowed him into our conversation, oh, thinking way. he's gonna be on his on his way to his friends of in a minute. Of course, but yeah. he, he didn't. He hung there was on. No friend. He, he clung ah, on. There, yeah, oh yeah, my like god! An, um, like a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this man doesn't listen. I know. So, so do I, to be honest, that was a bit harsh. I apologise. You, you, you just called listening. him a piece of shit on your arsehole. <laughs> I just wanted to say the word winner, I think. <laughs> I feel like you might have come prepared with that winner line. Yeah. The way you delivered it with such confidence. Yeah. I've got winner written on the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an algebra equation before a maths exam. <laughs> <laughs> I um I remember before one of our maths tests you had chippy pie dinner <laughs> written on oh, your yeah, um, yeah, yeah. in your hand find us a conference <laughs> <laughs> pie times diameter yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's listeners there going that's bloody good that. <laughs> <laughs> chippy pie dinner <laughs> um so anyways this guy is that is lapped onto our conversation yeah which would have been fine yeah but he was. He then started lying, and it's and it's always when someone's quite evidently lying, and he's saying about people. Give us a for instance. Well, he was said he said that he was uh, formerly a steward at, uh, at at Liverpool. Okay, that's very believable. Possible, yeah. Very believable. <laughs> yeah. But he said it's that the, stu- that the steward's know. office used to uh, neighbour the away team's dressing room, and the walls used to be made of plasterboard. Right. So you could hear everything that the away team was saying. So uh, Liverpool used to have an uh, one one of their members of staff standing in with the stewards room, listening in to uh, eavesdropping to the away team's dressing room, oh. and then texting the Liverpool man. It's no, it's no. Oh, you, don't know, you don't know this is incorrect. You've got no idea. Oh, this is a lie. The level of detail he's got no, into. It was a lie. He also says right. So Carragher was interviewing uh, I Mo Salah. Man the of the I don't know why you said. Yeah. I, Carragher, I think there's only one winner in this story. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. I am not the winner. <laughs> I am not the winner. <laughs> <laughs> so the, he was also Cardigan was talking to Salah in an interview after the game, and he was saying that the, he was trying to say that they oh, were in the uh, same these footballers. Well, Cardigan's a former Liverpool player. Yeah, Salah okay. is a current Liverpool player. Okay, yeah, but Cardigan's now a pundit for Sky. Got it. Yeah. So he was interviewing him after the game, and he was analysing the game on a, on a screen behind them. Yeah. And he says they're not in the same room together, and it was like what. And right. he's saying, oh, I've seen how this has done before. There's a tennis ball hanging between them. What? Yeah, and, and they're, they're looking at it. So, it's the, so they've been like superimposed onto the same screen. See? Okay. Was, see, um, see? Maybe, I, maybe I take back mm. what I said about I Mr. am not the winner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've called him Mr. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> but and it, fortunately, this guy ends up just like... He was a former steward. I've got some respect for him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy ends up just leaving our conversation anyway. Yeah. And, and, he, and he attached himself onto the group next, next, to, next yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this group, then, I think they also shared the look of oh god, oh god. So, so <laughs> what what's his technique for um, sashaying between groups? Well, this I think he's a bit of a social butterfly. This guy, I he? think he launched himself into my elbow. <gasps> oh, oh. Yeah, I think that was uh, it was paper spillage, it, 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 tactical, exactly. tactical spillage, tactical spillage. It, it, it was it was tactical spillage exactly. Oh god, yeah, it, it was, he picked that up by the way from the Chelsea manager years ago. When he was stood in the steward's room and the Chelsea <laughs> manager was given a team no, talk. No, he wasn't. <laughs> we can clarify that the, the walls in the Liverpool dressing room are not made of plaster. <laughs> you both looked at me and horrified. I didn't know what no you idea I, 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 thought, I thought you were about to launch into like an, a, a, very, ta- um, a, a time when Chelsea beat Liverpool or something. No, like no. Tactics. <laughs> oh, I tell you though, if I believe the steward thing because that's really smart then. well you think that's smart right yeah. oh, God. so he so he goes to the next and I tell you he's got all the techniques he's got the spillage he's got the paper thin walls he knows what he's doing <laughs> yeah this man well, you think that this Respect technique him, Mondo. Th- th- I'm, I'm about to tell you what his best technique of all was it gets better it gets better right so he so he goes on this to the... man is my messiah <laughs> <laughs> I tell you Easter Sunday I'm going to see him <laughs> <laughs> he goes to the next uh, huddle of people then he exhausts the conversation with those guys as well they yeah. all kind of like 
dissipate out of the bar. Oh, God. So he's then kind of standing there on his own, loitering, yeah. like kind of seeing what his next move's going to be. What's the drink situation now? Is he, uh, has he been I think nursing? he's on, he's, he's, he's got through the first pint, he's on to the <laughs> second one. Okay. So we're so, we're so, we're so Singular. So one hand's free. Ooh. Ooh. The right hand is free. <laughs> In the pocket is my guess. No, so it's it's outside the pocket. Ah. But this guy, so he, so he looks around the bar. Okay. He reaches into the right, to his right pocket. Yeah. Pulls out a pound coin. Right. Drops it on the floor. Okay. In such a way that it rolls to the bar to another huddle of people. <laughs> no <laughs> goes way. over. He goes over to pick up this pound coin. But as he's done that, he's, he's then engaged. He's got, <gasps> the, he's got the other people's attention. He then latches on to conversation oh. and he joins their group and he's with them for ages. That then. is absolutely genius. Oh, genius. To be fair to him as well, he might have just wanted someone to talk to. Yeah. And, well, I've got no, I've got no problem with that. No, I've, no. I've, I've called him a winner. <laughs> okay, I take I take I take back the win it remark. <laughs> I no, I think, see what you call people. You have got a problem. With. I know. <laughs> I no. think that I think that's genius. That, that is absolutely yeah, is. genius. Yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. I couldn't. I, I, when I was witnessing, I was like, I, I gasped. Did you oh. tell everyone the same story, or don't you know? Oh, I couldn't hear what he was saying, uh, to be honest. Though. Suddenly, Ryan was, like, loitering onto this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pulled out a pound coin and <laughs> knocked into him. <laughs> that's really smart, that. Yeah, I thought it was excellent. I thought it was very much... That's got to be content in the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, shall we um, go for the feature? Oh, Ooh. yes. I am going to be honest with you. I did not plan a feature for today. Only had four weeks. I know, I know, I know. I take the responsibility. And on the way here to the studio, I was walking down buying myself a Tesco meal deal. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, fancy. Which is one of, I think, the most tragic sentences I've ever said <laughs> on the show. Um, so I bought the Tesco meal deal, and suddenly, like an epiphany, the mm. feature came to me. Oh, okay. So it is called. Paul, you can eat. Oh, oh. I like him. Yeah. It's, it's a non-Hitler one, Paul. So it's, uh, <laughs> it <obviously. is. laughs> um, It concerns me, though, how the voice of a man's going um, gonna to oh, say it. Oh, that was frustrating in the last yeah, episode. Yeah, it was. Because... Um, Paul's looking blankly. Yeah, it, was, it was a lot. It was a long while ago. Now. It, well, that's good. well, it only aired like I know, five days. From, 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 from our perspective, yeah, yeah, from yeah, our yeah. perspective. Yeah. Okay. From our perspective. Um, so anyway, you came up with uh, the last will, Eams and testaments, and this is our first week back with our voiceover man. Oh yeah. After all the toing and froing, yeah. So he sabotaged the voiceover. Oh Paul. yeah, unbelievable. So I I bigged him up massively. Yeah, you were like, I can't wait to yeah, hear his voice. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna absolutely nail. This uh, the name of this feature. Yeah, and then he called. He went the last will, I am's and testament. Oh. Completely fluffed it. Yeah, ruined the whole feature. Ruined. In my opinion, ruined. Yeah. So we should just have better feature names, though. No, no but it's not the really feature good, name. Then. It's obvious. <laughs> well, it's because else? it's because he wanted the more more exactly. Cash. He's, he, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he knows my name. Yeah, like, he knows his I paid the man. It's not will I am. It's not the bank transfer. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's um he's playing games with he us is. now, and I uh, he is. I'm not I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna fall to his. You know you're not gonna stand for it. No, I'm not gonna succumb. Oh, yeah. You haven't really got a choice because you don't deal with it. Yeah, I'd well, be that's fair. true. But I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna encourage you to not succumb. Well, you say that I've already paid him a ball. You can eat. Oh. So um, <laughs> yeah, let's see how he messes this one up. Hello, oh, yeah. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, here's the game. Which I came up with literally ten minutes ago. Okay, I'm, was... I'm excited. I'm very excited. To yeah, for the concept of this. Well, so here it is. Are you aware of the traffic light system on uh, on foodstuffs? Oh, oh no. yeah, yeah. I yeah. just thought you meant in general. But... <laughs> <laughs> I am Ryan's. No. <laughs> <laughs> on packaging of everything, there's like a traffic light system depending on the fat content and the sugar content. It's green. It's healthy. You know, yellow meat, and so you get the idea. Yeah. Um, so here's the game. I'm going to give you a, a sweet treat, and then you've got to tell me in comparison to another sweet treat whether the sugar content was higher or lower. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's essentially higher or lower with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Um, if it was good enough for Bruce, it's good enough for us. That's what I say. Yep. If I've said that once. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you understand the game. Yes. Yes. Well, here we go with. Paul, you can eat. Paul, you can eat. So round one. Mm -hmm. We're going to start off 
with a Mr. Kipling angel slice. Ooh. Yeah. Um, very much my kind of baked good, that, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like they're all going to be your kind of baked good. <laughs> <laughs> that lovely pink icing. Um, so, okay. An angel slice, they come in packs of two, and it is... I've just realised I'm going to have to double the figure on the packet. Um, I think that's a half it. No, 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 because per slice... Oh, fi- sorry. So, okay. The Mr. Kipling angel <laughs> slice. <laughs> um, uh, 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 the, both fingers of it are 30% of your daily sugar allowance. Okay? okay? Okay. Bear that in mind. Yep. Consider the scale of it. Consider the size. Yep. Now... Is that a red? Is that a red? Or is it more of an amber? No, no. The salt content is an amber at 3%. It's, it's very much a red. Yeah, I was thinking that's going to be De- a dark... Deep, <laughs> deep red. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, 30%. 30%. 30%. Your... Now, compare that to a whisper. <gasps> A whisper. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> John, that went over my head. That was well. <laughs> oh, we totally fell for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Uh, the whisper. Is it higher or lower than an angel slice? I I think there's there's bubbles in a, in a whisper. Ooh. Is that air. bubbles of, like, air? Or yeah, of yeah. Like... So in the same way, like an air, though. Have you ever had a whisper? I don't think I have had a whisper. I've had an air, though. I've had an air, Okay, but it's, 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 got, it's got the yeah, same. Yeah. It's, 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 it's aero But is I, chocolate more fatty than, than cake? That's mm. what I'm thinking. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Because Mr. Kipling knows what he's doing. They're very fluffy, those slices. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think chocolate will have, will have more will have more than, than, than cake. Yeah. So we are saying But then you've got the icing as well on there. I know. Oh, cake, yeah, is, that icing. It's like sugar, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I'm going to go Mr. Kipling. I, so you're going to say it's lower? Yeah. I'm going to say Mr. Kipling's higher. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you, okay, you're messing up these <laughs> sequences here, Paul. Are, are we working together? You're working together. Oh, so okay, is, is no, the whisper I, higher or lower than the angel slice? Lower. Lower. Yeah, I'll go with Paul. It is lower. Oh. The whisper is, in fact, 21% of your daily sugar allowance. Ooh. And you know what? I feel like you made a good call there with the bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, moving on. We have the Butterfinger Cups. Ooh, the, the, the peanut butter. Um, they are peanut butter made by Nestle. Oh, yeah. yeah it, it, it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. But it's, it's exactly yeah. that. But yeah. Butterfinger. Yes. Now, let's go per cup here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you the packaging again. So, relatively big. Relatively big. Yeah. Is it higher or lower than 21%? I think that'd be well higher. I, I think that'd be well higher. Yeah. Are we going, on, we going on sugar here, aren't we? We are going on sugar, sugar content. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think butterfinger but, but well higher. Would, yeah, that'd be well higher. Well higher? Yeah, yeah, confident with that one. Higher than the whisper, which is 21%. The butterfinger is lower. It is oh. 13%. Oh. oh. I it's well higher. Oh. Um. No, it's a, it's in fact lower quite substantially as well. The thing is, though, you never just have one butterfinger. You have like, oh. yeah, you're going to have all four. Yeah, oh, true. Yeah, yeah it's comp- yeah, it's one, isn't it? So yeah. Oh, I'm actually a bit deflated. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, now the chunky. Oh yeah. I'm not calling you that, Ryan. This is the. <laughs> this is the. Best. What is this? did I tell you? I went on a run in Bristol. <laughs> I like how you're doing that joke at Ryan and not me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I feel like that's the um, that's the situation we've set you up, set up now in this episode. Um, okay. So is the chunky again? Would you say it's bubbles? In the chunky, but, the but chun- is, is the honeycomb a bubble? The chunky? Do you mean the crunchy? I mean the crunchy. Yeah. I did. <laughs> did you did you leap into the chunky just so you could say that gag at me? <laughs> oh, oh god! You know what? I've messed this up. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely fantastic! <laughs> oh no! I'm going to tell you what happened. I saw a Kit Kat chunky in the in the shop, <laughs> and I thought I'll make a gag of saying Kit Kat chunky. Oh, I don't mean you, Ryan. <laughs> but it didn't have the traffic lights on. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, instead- I'm delighted that it's turned against you. This. <laughs> yeah. So now in my mind, I was so committed to saying it. <laughs> I just called a nothing chocolate a chunky. Yeah, I thought I thought you'd gone for some bizarre abbreviation of a Kit Kat chunky, but that you called them junkies, which would have been embarrassing in itself, and it's actually worse. <laughs> oh, our features are so much better when they've got pre-planning. Aren't they? <laughs> um, okay, so the crunchy. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, yeah, the crunchy with the honeycomb scent, which I implied before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but think about the the sugar content. In 
the uh, um, honeycomb has got a lot of sugar in it. I think. Yes. Now our previous one was thirteen percent sugar. Oh, so it's so it's, if, if it's higher than thirteen, higher or lower? I, think, I, I, higher I, I think definitely. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm very surprised at how low the peanut butter, the yeah. butter finger cup was. But that was only one cup, wasn't it? It if was. You had a, if you had a packet of four, that uh, would have been yeah, fifty-two percent or whatever it would have been. If you've got the right, I'm very impressed. Well, it, it, it actually four times thirteen is fifty. Okay, <laughs> so is a higher or lower than thirteen percent? Higher. Uh, higher. Hey, you've absolutely got it right. It is higher. Yeah, really? it comfortably higher. Isn't yeah, it? it's twenty nine percent. Oh, what, oh, what about the, highest, the, what about the chunky? What is the, is the Kit Kat <laughs> chunky higher? <laughs> okay, we have two more. The fries Turkish delight. Uh, you're looking a bit blank there, Paul. You, that's it's, that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, yeah, it's short, isn't it? The Turkish it, it's delight. It's very small. It's small yeah. square. But I think a Turkish delight has got a surprising amount of sugar in it. It's got it's like got that jelly that, center. The jelly it? center. It's jelly center, but you're trying. Twenty nine percent was our, was our the previous crunchy. one. The crunchy. I I, I hate Turkish delights. I think they're not nice whatsoever. Have you ever had an actual Turkish delight like from Turkey? Oh, I think I think both this and Turkey ones are delicious. The Turkey um, ones are lovely. I've never actually tried one of them. Oh, it's very uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm not. A, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I've never had one from Turkey though. Hmm. No, Turkey uh, ones are nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think I think there's I think Steve's gonna throw in like a bit of a cave ball at one point. Yeah, I think, I, 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 I think you saw that on the sweet aisle and thought, can't believe how much sugar's in that. I'm gonna use this in the feature. I think the the fries Turkish delight is what's inspired the whole game. I wouldn't go that deep. Like, I just think it's higher. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm, I'll I'll tell you once you've decided. Higher, higher than twenty nine percent. Yes, and the way you're leading us. Oh, God, you know what? Dude. You, I'm going to be honest. This inspired the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I really like a Turkish light, and I was horrified when I saw it. <laughs> it is thirty-seven percent. Wow. Whoa. Is it? And don't what? I, I, I'm doing the wars. Though I'm surprised. I'm actually not. Oh, but I'm. <laughs> I can't believe you saw right through there. <laughs> that is unbelievable yeah, how the, well you the called that. The thought process yeah. <laughs> laid bare. Oh, okay. Well, final one. I'm going to take you back to the world of Mr. Kipling. Ooh. He with his exceedingly good cake. <laughs> <laughs> so self-titled that on the box, Paul. Um, that's not my review. <laughs> but really, you go Mr. Kipling. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah. That's true, actually. <laughs> Arrogance. We, we might get some Mr. Kipling cakes <laughs> too in the post, man. Yeah, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> oh. They are exceedingly good. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we are ending on the mini Battenberg. Can I see it? You can see? Ooh. Looks like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a... It's a like a chessboard, I guess. Mm. Um, a lovely pink chessboard. So, is it higher <laughs> or lower than a Turkish delight at thirty-seven percent? I think it's got to be lower. I think it's lower. It's just I the case, so. Isn't yeah, it? just, there's, um, yeah, it's it's quite flavourless as well. That the think uh, the about the marzipan. Pig. I'm gonna put it down at twenty-two percent. Oh, you got you estimating yes. in the twenties. I'm going to put it down at 22%. Uh, I, I, I also, I also oh my, agree, oh but based, right. based on your reaction there, <laughs> I'm going with Paul. It's 22%. I honestly was like lost for words. Therefore, <laughs> 22%. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Paul, you should take this on the road. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be on the cruise ship next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> People just present you sweets and you got to go, 33%. <laughs> um, oh, well, correct, Amando. There, that's honestly amazing. Thank you very much. Excellent work. And well done. As a treat for getting it right, I've got you the item with the highest sugar content, the fries Turkish Delight. <laughs> Which has been in Steve's pocket now for about an hour and is, it, it looks it, very melted and Yeah, squashed. you know what? This has been next to my crotch in the whole recording <laughs> and it's absolutely melted. <laughs> no words. I feel oh. like Steve got it knowing that ne- me, neither me or Ryan like them and yeah. he does. Yeah, I really like a Turkish Delight. So, um, you can have it, Steve. I'm keeping it. Especially yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. So far you brought shit drinks and shit food as well. <laughs> Kombucha was not shit. <laughs> Revitalizing, <laughs> and, anyway, and Mr. Kipling is not arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> if he wants to send anything over, <laughs> and hot tubs are great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was Paul. You can eat. <laughs> what a good, a good feature, I reckon. Thank you. Yeah, Thank not you. bad. That, not bad. You know, on a whim. Then, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> <laughs> I um, I do apologise about the chunky comment as well. That was um, harsh. Biting. Oh, that was. Uh, but true. 
I'm g- <laughs> <laughs> but not true. <laughs> oh, next time you tell a story, I'm going to have less of a go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unlikely. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I've actually got another story to tell you now. <laughs> if, um, okay, well, I'm to, all ears. Yeah, to test um, <laughs> your statement that you just made. <laughs> um, so I went to see Mark Marin. Okay. Yeah, okay. And, um, Prolific podcaster. Yes, yes. Uh, and also a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Yeah, very funny man. Um, Paul, where was, uh, was our invitation to go and see Mark Marin? Well... This doesn't shock me anymore, to be honest. I feel like the outcast I, of this podcast. I, I, the outcast of the podcast <laughs> is what I am. Is that our spin-off show? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me on my own. Your Frasier. Hi, Joey. <laughs> oh, you want it to be more Frasier than Joey? <laughs> yeah. I feel it would be more Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, I went to see, I went to see Mark Marr at the Lowry uh, in Manchester. Yeah, I did, and yeah. uh, and uh, it, it was I did extend the invite. I'm sure I did. Ah, uh, well, he didn't. No record of this, but never anyway, was, never anyway. So I so I so I took the trip to Manchester. Yeah, and uh, before before the show, we thought, oh, I'll, I'll go to the Cloudwater Brewery. <laughs> Because they had an, uh, they had a pretty <laughs> impressive tap list. Oh, God. oh, I know what I said before, oh, Ryan. No. But yeah, they had, they had collaborations with Monkish, a brewery mm. from LA. Okay. Or the Half Brew from New York. Yeah, oh, a few yeah. Hill Farms, that beers. One of the what, voted the best brewery in the world. Okay. Yeah. So you know what? I would have tried that. You would like you'd like Hill Farms that beers. Yeah. It's got a got a got a slight um, that that flavour that you like. It, you, it's not very, it's not IPAs whatsoever. So it's so. very sour. It, it's not very you know sour. That, kid, that's why kid, I hesitate. It's oh. not very sour. It's got a, it's got a slight <laughs> sour. It's more of a, it's more of a freshness to it. Okay. Anyway, <sighs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah. I I, uh, I we digress. We're just having a chat. <laughs> <Not right. laughs> but because the tap list was so good. Yeah. We end me and my brother who we went with. Yeah, we um we ended up having like another drink there, and we probably shouldn't have. Probably should have made our way towards the Lowry because it's in it's in Salford Keys, so it's quite um it's it's quite a way away from him. Mm, the, the, okay, a bit of a distance. Yeah, a trek. Yeah, so but we thought just a tram ride. Yeah. Uh, however, the tram that we got on, um, we ended up, we thought we could buy a ticket on the tram. The tram a tram inspector got on. Oh, oh and, and I honestly, I genuinely, we, oh, oh, I he's genuinely out of it. he bumped on the tram. Uh, no, I typical I, scouser. No, <laughs> see, I knew it coming across this. I, I genuinely got on thinking you could buy a ticket on on, on board, and, mm. and he couldn't. So we had Signs to get off everywhere saying you cannot buy a yeah, ticket on board. Actually, not. It was it was a genuine error. I mm. promise. Actually, no, I, I'm honestly, sure it was. So anyway, we got kicked off the tram. So we were already running a bit oh, late. Oh, so you never, he never offered you to buy a ticket on there. You just no, really no. He, off. Said, he said, he said, you got, you got to, go, got to get off at the next this stop and really? then buy, buy, buy a ticket and then get on the next, the next tram. Wow. So then we did that, but then that, that then we were already running a bit late. No, this does not help. Did with you my not name. use the? Oh, but I write for afternoon tea company. And I was like, I'm a teacher. I would never do anything like this. I've never bunk a tram. No, <laughs> a respectable we, I, man. It, we, I, I honestly, I, I. I Hands on heart, mm, I did not. Okay. Bullshit. So anyway, you're now delayed. So yeah, so we were we were already running a bit late, and and then <laughs> and then we got kicked off the tram. So then we had to get the next tram. So then if we were even further late. So I'm now I'm now thinking, oh, we're gonna we're gonna miss the whole of the Mark Maron show. Yeah, which is which was just insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so because it, it was advertised at the start and a half seven. Okay. And then we were about to get there for eight if we got the first tram. By the second tram, it was gonna be we were getting there at like half eight. Oh, so you're thinking dear. we could have missed late as always. Yeah. I why, know. Why, why didn't you say let's get a taxi at this point? Um, because even still, the tram's quicker. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we get there. <laughs> you did think of that. <laughs> yeah. When my suggestion backfired, I quickly tried to move it along. <laughs> yeah, but there was a moment of horror when we were when we were on the tram, thinking, "Oh, we, this is our one chance to go and see Mark Maron, and we <laughs> we've <laughs> meant it. We've missed it by getting." Another, yeah. <laughs> I was like, "We're gonna catch like the last fifteen minutes of the show." Oh. But we get we get to the lolly, we rush in there. Yeah. And um so and I think <laughs> <laughs> Got those knees, those shins have never been more red. <laughs> <laughs> we rush in there. Yeah. The um, the is it the concierge? What's the the ticker ticker person called? I'll take concierge. Yeah. Or ticker man. Uh, yeah. She says. <laughs> oh woman. Oh. <laughs> oh. Apologies. Paul twenty nineteen. She says. Oh, there's, there's um the open open and act is still on. So he, he's got about ten minutes left. Oh, there was then, a support. There was there was an unmentioned support. There was a support act which was just 
glorious. It's like, oh, thank God, we, we've not missed them. Yeah. And then, the, so the sport had 10 minutes left. Okay. And he, then he had like a 15 minute interval or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before Mark Maron came on. So then we, so we've not had any tea. D- dinner. We've not had any dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so then we think, oh, this gives us actual time to oh, go. Oh, so you didn't pop in to see the support act. You uh, just... We kind of popped in and then thought, no, no, we were real in. Oh, that's. He, not... he could see your silhouette at the back of the theatre <laughs> and then you walk out. <laughs> it was the Larry. It was, it was, it, hey, he couldn't see oh, the silhouette see at the it. back. If Womack could see us eating the cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> so then we think, oh, we've got time to get some food because I was, I was starving at this point. Oh, okay. But in um in the Salford Keys where 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 the Lowry is, yeah, we we thought, oh, what what have we got time to actually have for food? Yeah, and then we walk out a minute, <laughs> we we see we see a Nando's, and I think I've I've only ever had some Nando's once, and I wasn't a fan. Okay, also you, probably pushing. But it. this this is the forum, Ryan, where we can get a Nando's black card. Yeah, a, a limited oh, oh, No, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to sell myself for Nando's. Paul, you and I, I would, love that period. I would period. sell you for Nando's. Of course. <laughs> You'd sell I like Nando's. For anything. So you'd sell me for more kombucha. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know about that. <laughs> so we see, we see Nando's thing. Not enough time. Yeah. We we uh, we look, we see a Cafe Rouge. Meh, not, not, not enough time again, really. Mm. No, no, no. Then, like a mirage. Too French for your liking. <laughs> <laughs> like a mirage. We see the Chinese buffet. Oh no! And I am never a fan of a Chinese buffet ever. A buffet? Oh, yeah, I, I I I never choose a Chinese buffet. However, in when time is pressing, so so even me, then, yeah. So me and my brother, <laughs> we we march over. Oh we, no! We, we, we run in. You see, but to, to spectators, you're walking with such vigor now. It's like you cannot wait to get to the buffet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and then so we walk in, and we're in like this, like sort of frenzied state. Oh, I'm guessing and there was no queue to sit down at the table. <laughs> there, there, was, there wasn't. <laughs> but we were so frenzied that the that the the woman led us. I feel let... like you're always in a bit of a frenzy. <laughs> <state, laughs> yeah. though. I told you this. So panicky. <laughs> so, so we, she she led us to, to our table, the the, the waitress, and then, and then like in because I was so, in such a friendly state, I was like, can, can, can we go and get the food now? Oh. And I thought we we never would be able to anyway. <laughs> but so we didn't even sit down. We went we went to him, and then we went round the. We She's like, the these two are so excited about this food. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we must have looked dead dodgy for some reason because like because it was, it was we both were in trench coats, <laughs> <laughs> and um. <laughs> so we so we went around the buffet. We we, we got we got a, a a big big old plate, yeah, a stacked full of like just oh. ra- a random mishmash. It's yeah. such a northern thing to do this though to like I pile know. the plate high. Uh, <laughs> no, but how else are you meant to uh, react to the Chinese buffet? You can't go and get like a moderate moderate portion. Yeah, you, you get can. ten moderate portions you can, if you want. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but There's you don't need to have a plate stacked time, with overflowing. Right. Marin was about to come on. Time, oh. was, time was of the essence. All right, so time you... is of the essence here as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can so hurry this story up. So we, go, we, we go, we we go once round. We get one plate. Yeah, we demolish that. Uh huh. Demolish. Demolish. I'm I'm, I'm famished. Yeah, it, it sounds like you're loving the food. <laughs> no, it, it it's just great because I, it was the perfect experience. This, that, they're gonna put that on the sign outside. It's just <laughs> great. No, I'm never normally a fan. I never normally a fan of the Chinese buffet. Mm. But in this time, it was just perfect. So we finished that plate. We go round for a second place. Oh god! We we, 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 we cleared up all the options that we missed out the first time <laughs> round. That, that that there wasn't enough space for on the plate. I think at this point you're one over. Of like, look at the variety. <laughs> we have. No, I I'm one over by the convenience. I think for that moment it was perfect. <sighs> okay. I was one over by that. So we finish that. We look at the time. And we have been about twenty minutes, and we had twenty five minutes. <laughs> okay, so at this point, you you like we now have to do the same march back to the yeah. theatre. However, <laughs> we went for an ill advised third place. <laughs> <laughs> we, me and my brother we went for a third go around the Chinese oh, buffet no. and, got told, yeah. and got some of the dessert. Oh, yeah. oh, too no. much. Of course into too he small did. A time I, of course he did. Yeah, so then we did that and then we paid again in a frenzied state. Oh. <laughs> we dashed back over to the Lowry Theatre with because you're now really full with a bit less power. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this, is, this was another <laughs> near death experience of me running. I had very potential of a heart attack at this point. A bit a more chunky. Yeah. <laughs> a heart attack or salmonella. <laughs> yeah, so we dash back over to the Lowry Theatre. Yeah. We think we think oh we surely we've made it. 
We all went to the theatre. Mark Maron's on stage. We, oh, did, we missed no. his first bit. Oh. <laughs> Still managed to miss him. <laughs> oh, I have no sympathy. No, nor do I. I know, I know, I know. Oh. Anyway, we um we are nearly out of time, so we we're gonna do our fact or discover ste uh, that we end with. Oh, I like the way that you're on board with that now. Well, <laughs> it's only me trying to shoot on that, that phrase, in and oh, I'm, I'm I getting really, no response. I really regret having uh, <laughs> having said it. Um, so have you to got facts this week? I've got a, a bit of a story. Well, I say a story. It's two two and a half lines. What's <laughs> <laughs> t- like one of my ten minutes on tales, Twitter? Man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've just gone on in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so go on. A New York man spent almost five months in prison in 2014. Mm. Unaware that his bail was just two U- two US dollars. Oh, oh no! Did anyone tell him that? Well, it doesn't tell you. That was only two lines. Didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wish there was more to that story. The new story. <laughs> See, you've got to dig deeper. <laughs> See, it's what my facts do. They're all cliffhangers. <laughs> oh, that, I wish I knew more. No, well, you never will. Oh, well, I might just Google it when we get out. <laughs> um, okay, did you know Neil Armstrong's boots are still floating around in space? Why did he take them off? Again, that's all I've got. <laughs> oh, I don't believe that. I don't believe Neil Armstrong returned to the, the spacecraft barefoot. I went- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's a bit of a hippie at heart. I was like, <laughs> I want to feel the earth. <laughs> Still floating around the Hollywood studio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, uh, again, to confirm, sweet. as a podcast, we believe in the moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> or do we? <laughs> mm. Ryan, short Ryan. sweet, come on. Okay, my fact this week. It's not again. It's not really oh, a fact. It's, 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 it's a discovery. It's, a, it's <laughs> longer oh, already. It's, 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 put together. It's, a disco- it's a discovery. Steve. Okay, go so on. So I I discovered that um, Anton de Beck is actually a stage name, and it's a double barrel name. I always thought it was one word. De Beck. Yeah, I thought de Beck was D U B E C. Okay. And that was that, and that was his actual name. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually double barrelled. As in do Beck. As in yeah, but D U space B E K E. Oh, and what's his real name? Oh, again. All right. That, 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 again, <laughs> I leave the story on the cliffhanger. <laughs> so, what is Anton de Vec's real name? The, the Find fact. out in the next episode of Dodging Death. We've <laughs> lost all of our subscribers. <laughs> I think the Uruguayan listeners are still hooked. <laughs> <laughs> but who is this Anton de Vec well, character? Yeah, we had a great fact from Paul about the $2 bail. We've got Neil Armstrong's boots are still floating in space. Du- dubious about that one. I believe Paul's And one. we ended on an Anton de Beck <laughs> fact that it's a stage name. <laughs> and double barreled. <laughs> I feel like you're confusing double barreled though with uh, isn't it? Oh, do you know what? Height <laughs> makes it. <laughs> you, 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 is your elbow all right there? <laughs> <laughs> so you're absolutely right. Uh, do, it, it's not double barrel, that is it? No, no. So again, in this episode, I have discovered <laughs> that Tom <laughs> does not have a double barrel name. Well, anyway, do leave us a review. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the episode to say that on. No. They spent absolutely ages just tasting kombucha. <laughs> I was also about to say, do Beck leave us a review, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> if you don't wrap this up now, Steve, I'm just yeah. going. <laughs> it's been about five weeks since we've recorded, so we will get back into the swing of it. <laughs> I apologise. Um, do like us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. The address is Paul. At Dodging Death Podcast. Yes, send us an email. Hi at dodgingdeathpodcast.com. Um, and I think that's it. Yeah, I reckon that's so. From me. That everything. All right, well, thanks, fellas. The pleasure as always. Time. See you next time. Follow us on Instagram at Dodging Death Podcast. <laughs>